Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you my routine and all the products I use for Invisalign. I'm also going to be switching from a liner 3 to a liner 4 today, so you can see what I do with my old aligners once they're out of use. Here's a liner number 4, very excited to get that on the go. So I like to give my old aligners a really good scrub before I put them back in their original packaging. I'm not sure why I keep them all, maybe I'll make a necklace or something. This is a denture bath, I got it from Boots, it was about a couple of quid I think. You just want to fill it up nearly to the top with hand hot water and then add a denture tablet. These are Boots own denture tablets. They were a couple of quid as well, but I think all the supermarkets do them. Just pop them in the water. And then while you're waiting, you can give your aligners a good scrub with a toothbrush, which I can't do one handed. So please do use your imagination for that. Then you can pop your aligners into the blue slidey component. Make sure they are interlocked, not overlapping. Pop them in, cover them fully, and then shut the lid and leave them to soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. Cool, now onto the teeth. Um, my toothbrush is manual. It has an electrical buzzer, but it doesn't. the head doesn't spin, so I just use it manually most of the time. By all accounts, an electric toothbrush is better to use, but here we are. Next up is floss. I have a few different products for different uh, scenarios. So I've got glide floss picks, Oral-B, or Boots Own Floss Picks. They all work the exact same way, so don't waste your money buying expensive floss. I like to use Oral-B when I'm at home because it's better for the environment, but I do find picks like this are um, more convenient on the go or if I'm filming a video like this. Yay, single-use plastics. Lovely. Next up is mouthwash. Um, I use Listerine Cool Mint with a milder taste because alcohol-based mouthwashes really aren't recommended, but also I just find that they're so strong they actually burn my mouth, so I prefer this one because it tastes better and it doesn't sting. Next up, you need to struggle to try and open the Invisalign packet with your teeth because your bite's misaligned, and then get there in the end. And here are aligners set number four, lovely and clean and new, very exciting. And get them in there. I like to start from the front and then push my way back. I like to add a lot of extra pressure with my thumb just to make sure that they're in as far as they can go. Uh, here's me struggling with the top left because the tray wasn't quite sitting flush mm. to the teeth. There was a little bit of a gap that would uh, close up when I bit down. Oh. Interesting. Popped my uh, lower aligners in just to see if biting down with both would help. And again, just applying extra pressure to make sure they're in all the way. I found that after a few days of this being filmed, um, the gap on the top did end up fixing itself, and that's usually the case, so be patient, but if problems persist, then obviously speak to your dentist and hopefully they can get things sorted, maybe with extra attachments or things like that. Once your aligners have finished bathing, you can uh, tip out the excess water, and then I give them one last scrub before putting them back in the original packaging. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.